Hey, what's going on guys and girls? 163 down by the Rio Grande. I did a couple videos on how to solder some wires together. And there's been some goofy comments, which didn't get published. But anyways, yes, I got a lot of stuff to get done here pretty quick and then get shipped out today. But anyways, look at the bench. Or if you're learning, pay attention to how clean everything is. If it's not, you're not doing it right. See that there? That's ready for the day. Every single day this gets washed out. Tap water is bad. I'm using RO water now. But uh, if you try to save a tip forever, you know, it depends on if you're doing this for a living or just doing your own stuff. But you know what? Either way, if you're doing it for a living, as a living, and or doing it for yourself, the Brillo induces a bunch of trash into every single solder joint. Even though it's abrasive and cleans some of the garbage off, it stays there on the tip. Little, really small stuff. Okay? This is a sponge and it's soaking wet. I can wring it out. This is a couple times a day, by the way. So anyways, that's what that looks like. That's clean, okay? And this one here, see how I did it and how fast? You don't want to hold it on there. It's really hard on the tip and hard on the transformer and the regulators inside the actual soldering unit itself. So this is called clean. All you do is look at their bench. Do you see that Brillo? <laughs> it a mess everywhere. Just imagine the inside of your radio. Water is great. You need spare tips. If you're, especially if you're learning, you know you're going to screw them up. There's a lot more to learn. I'll, I'll go from the point where you already read the book. So you got to read the book first. Someone that's been doing this for many, many, many years and very in all kinds of different odd places. This is how it's done. You want a clean joint? You gotta have clean hands. That's where it starts. Clean bench. The floor can be a mess, it doesn't matter. The rest of the place can be a mess, but the entire work area, it better be spotless. Just imagine trying to paint a car outside the dirt parking lot with cars driving by. It's gonna be a shitty paint job. The exact same thing goes for soldering. Stay tuned in. I hope you learned something.